My name is Ada Obi Eboka. I work for Legal Defense and Assistance Project. We focus on access to justice, good governance issues, rule of law, and generally working on promotion and protection of human rights in Nigeria. I grew up in the um, eastern part of Nigeria. Um, as a child, I saw a lot of violations. I remember one particular incident that's kind of, I still have all the time. I had this person I know who was an apprentice to a very rich person. And um, along the line, he was accused of stealing. And he was detained, he was tortured. His parents weren't aware what happened. And when he was released, after some time, because of the influence of what has happened in prison, he died. So I got into school, I did law. At that point, I just wanted to be a lawyer. I knew that a lawyer was the key to the solution. We take up a lot of cases on women's human rights issues, and I'm glad to see that so many of them have gotten justice, or some of them has gotten, have gotten justice. It's also interesting to see that there are laws that have been pushed, and they are very fundamental. For example, the passage of the ACJA, which is an Administration of Criminal Justice Law at the federal level. Having a law that recognizes and protects human rights defenders is fundamental. So one of the major things that will, I think will go a long way in helping human rights defenders across not just Nigeria but across Africa and the world is making sure that the government is willing to investigate, prosecute and have adequate remedy for any human rights defender who is seen or has seen to have been intimidated or prosecuted because of the work they do. Access to information is key for the protection and promotion of human rights across. The UN system can really help in the sense that there are treaties that countries are ratified to be sure that countries, when they do not report, for example, I know Nigeria has signed and ratified the CRPD and has not reported since it had done that. What are the mechanisms available to put Nigeria under pressure to report on that particular convention, which I believe is very fundamental to the rights of persons with disabilities. I am very happy to be part of a team in LEDAB that had done a lot of things around criminal justice administration. We have used cases to obtain a lot of um, individuals who, are, who had their case who are sentenced to death, for example. Um, we've had a lot of appeals obtaining their um, judgment and it's exciting to really see people who have spent 12, 15 years on, the, on death row being released. As an institution, LEDAB, as an individual, that makes me very happy.